And we're back. We are back here live at a social house located in Waterford Lakes. If you guys haven't ever been here, we're represented by the traveling drunks. TD. Presidential DJ Stretch. Stretch, 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 stretch. <laughs> Biggest group of degenerates you'll ever encounter. Yeah. You like drunken misfits. That, that, misfits, degenerates. This is from the will. guy who's got a loop de loop in his hair right now. Hey, man, high fashion. <laughs> <laughs> hey, where's Katie at? Can we bring her back for a second take? She's, uh, she's ignoring oh, me for good reason. The sloppiest kiss ever. That was very sloppy. Did, did you hear that? Yes, I did. I did hear that. I did hear that. <laughs> I mean, I, I just heard it through the microphone, so yes. I heard it through the grapevine. <laughs> All right, so uh, Master Stretch, what's uh, yeah. what are we doing? So, what's the topic of discussion tonight, guys? Um, let's talk about sign language. <laughs> or I want to talk about shots. Shots. Okay, shots. yes. Let's let's discuss that. I, okay, so let me tell you about my asshole friends. They know I fucking hate. Rumple bins, right? He doesn't mean that. No. I fucking hate rumple He doesn't mean that. He does not so, mean that. So I come in here and, and they're rumpled. Fe- they, they, they rumpled me, right? The whole fucking bar is yelling, art, art, art. So, you know, you now, 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 now I've got to fucking take this horrible shot. Yeah, you got rumpified. It, no. He grumpified. <laughs> that shit is horrible. You, there's no other. There's no. Why would you even make I, that? Shit? I don't understand why you think it's horrible. What type of liquor is horrible that is 100 proof? And it's you know, fresh. How about how about free? It makes your breath smell you, like you just brush your teeth. You can't how really mix that shit with anything. I don't know. You can't really make any drinks. It's not supposed to be. It is a yeah. delight. That's well, it, it's a delicacy. Art, I, good I, I actually buy have a, that shit. Uh, I have a story for you, Art. That shit is horrible. So. I was sitting at Smoky Boats on a Sunday before I quit drinking, and uh, I probably I had a $16 bourbon drink, and uh, we had a associate of all of ours who I will not name, and he spilled that drink. Probably lost half of it. I decided I don't give a I don't give a fuck. I'm gonna go ahead and slide. In any case, I showed up at a Social House uh, not too much longer, and I saw him buying shots for for the bar. So I said. Hey man, you, you spilled my drink earlier. You want to buy me a shot? And he looked at me and he said, "I don't want to, but I will." And it was like a real scowl. Like he was angry about having to buy me a shot. Right. So he bought me a quadruple Rumplemans, and I was not about about to back down from a challenge. So S-Y-T. S-Y-T. So <laughs> he how hand- dare you? You got how some nerve, Beach. Interrupting her. Us? How dare she? You got some nerve coming over here with that that's, beautiful that's the, sweater. It's, it's beautiful almost like Danielle. you have excellent breasts or butt. Suggesting the fact that you would take it off and then you just walk away. That's the beautiful Danielle, guys. <laughs> the beautiful Danielle. In any case, uh, hey, he, hey, Dees, why are you here? Can I get a jacket diet, please? I'll get it. Wait, are you even working right it. now? <laughs> yeah, I'm working. I'll do it. Not doing a very good job at it. <laughs> <laughs> in any case, uh, uh, he bought me throw a, ass back to work. <laughs> he bought me a quadruple Rumplemans and then uh, handed it to me and called me a pussy. And I'm I'm not a guy for confrontation. I've always talked my way out of things, but uh, he handed me the shot, called me a pussy. And so I did the only thing that I knew how to do, and I took the entire shot. One. And, and then I said, four days fire? later. I thank said, you. thank you. I love you, beer wins. I said, fuck you. Thank you for the shot. And then I found someone else to drive me home. Bar wins. Ended up blacking out. Yep. And then I argued with the person that I had asked to drive me home yep. for my yep. keys. At least you didn't yep. get the Rob treatment. You didn't. That get, was the Rob no, treatment. You, no, you didn't get Rumble Mints with tequila in it. Ooh, I mean, the tequila would have watered it That's down. Rumble no. Mints. Th- th- this is what sucks. Rob has been doing to people. He's buying him them rubble mint shots with tequila in it. Doesn't yeah. the tequila water it down since it's a lower proof? I don't know, no, but I'm sure it can't be good. 
No, I there's mean, no way that's good. No. <laughs> no. I mean, how was that? One of those components isn't doesn't good. Doesn't it water it? It down? doesn't make the second component any better. No, it sucks all the way around. Trust me. So, how about we ask what what is everybody's favorite shot? Art, we'll start with you. Um, I'm more of a I, I love picklebacks, man. I'm I'm a big I'm a big fan of picklebacks. How much time have you spent downtown? Uh, more than I care to. It discuss. doesn't matter. He's an ever, FSU fan. Fair enough. They have to drink. They have to drink because their football team sucks. <laughs> <laughs> so how about uh, how about Finn yeah. Henry's? You ever go by Finn Henry's? Can we throw I, up? I have, I have been. Couple years. <laughs> really? So, so you, can, I'm assuming you know what a dirty Finn is. We need a couple uh, Sebastians yes. over here. <laughs> yes. Sebastians, really? That yeah. little that little piece of shit bird. First time hey, I ever man. took a pickleback. Um, hey, hey, here, here, here's a trivia question. What is the name of the FSU horse? Little Sebastian. It's Cimarron. Cimarron? It's what? Oh, the, which, oh, which, the, the mascot or the horse? The horse. It's Both? Renegade. Maybe. Renegade. All right. Thank you. I was going to go with Little Sebastian. You know I used to call Andrew's old car Renegade? I'm going <laughs> to. Because that bitch just had rust spots all over the place. I said, damn, we're driving Renegade around. I'm going to fact check that real quick. First time I ever fact took check a... What? The name of the horse. Oh, the name it, of the horse. Oh, it's Renegade. Renegade. It definitely is. Renegade. Chief Osceola and Renegade. First time I ever took a uh, pickleback. And that's cooler than a live stork. You're, you're welcome, Stretch. Sebastian's like a stork. I, I don't even know what type of bird he right. is. First time I ever took a pickleback, I was at a friend's house, and he said, I need you to take a shot with me. I said, what's in the shot? And he said, Tabasco pickle juice and whiskey <laughs> oh this is a bloody mary <laughs> and i said Bopping, it's jackass. just like high school this is how people make fun of me all over again and he did the one thing that i did not expect him to do which was say i'll take one with you so i said if you're gonna do it fuck it i'll do it as well he poured out the shots i took my first pickleback and hands down Next to a green tea shot at Social House, uh, a pickleback is easily my favorite shot. I love pickleback. Now. They're amazing. It, it's the only time I'll ever say I love pickle. With that being said. What brand? How, how Classic. Many, how many of you guys have actually thrown up? You've been so drunk that you've thrown up from a night of drinking. Um, I think all of us here. I have Quite not. a bit. Uh, honestly, I haven't thrown up from a night of drinking in a long time but I, yeah but to, to throw but you up have. i feel like you have to stop and i just no <laughs> yeah. no it, it it's more of that you have to hit a spot you, and you can't get hung over if you just don't stop but i've never i've never thrown up from drinking and i've been all over the world drinking and i've never thrown up i've been sh- i've been shit-faced no but i've art, never thrown I up i see the drink. way that you drink I, you I drink was, like a 13 year old school. Yeah, girl. but what, is, what are we drinking here? Coors like Light? Now. This, is, you, you, this is now. You're not Coors. drinking Smirnoff. Look, yeah, let's I get some three and a half percent Coors bullshit listen, over here. Listen. Hey, get that I'm Coors a, Light I'm, out of this. So I'm a bit man. older than you. Oh, oh, right? Let, let me see how cold light, that beer is. Man. How cold is that beer? That cold, that beer is warm. That be- bullshit. That is not warm. Look are at you, the mountain. Are the mountains blue? No, they gray as could be. That doesn't mean the fucking beer is warm. You got your red dress. You got your red dress on. If only you had cold. had a Bud Light cool and crisp in the morning time. When your wife's <laughs> giving you shit, you need a Bud Light. Clay, can I can I fix your hair, please? Because you look like, you look ridiculous. Hey, man. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't brush my hair today. Beyonce uh, did. No oh, shit. I knew I was going out for drinking. <laughs> just, I didn't give a fuck. He, he just said his. I, he I didn't just need to hair. put that one loop. I didn't give oh, a Bud Light. Say, but did you hear what he said? Uh-huh. He said he didn't brush his hair. His fiance did. Like, damn, does she dress you too? Shit. Uh, well, I mean, if I can get away with it, I'll let her. Jesus, man. I mean, who wouldn't want that? My fiance is, is not dressing me. I'm sorry. I'm a grown ass man. You, you guys must have a savings account, like. Huge as fuck because you like both whoa. Shop, shop um, at Goodwill. <laughs> I'm a grown ass man. My fiance and my girlfriend is speaking of the dressing. devil. Katie, can I get a hoo hoo Hey, can he comb his Lame. hair because it looks yeah, like fuck. it looks like shit. Can I get a witness of somebody who has to pee? 
Can she get a witness of someone that has to pee? There's a reason I'm driving You're home not tonight. Walter Conkright. Don't keep repeating the shit that I'm saying. Oh. Walter Conkright here. That doesn't sound like somebody Walter that dresses. Walter Conkright. <laughs> Walter Conkright. That's the way the cookie crumbles. Yes. That's the way it was. Yes. That is the way Nixon that, fucked that's, the country. That's, that's Jim Carrey in the Truman Show. That's the way I like it. Uh-huh, uh-huh. I like it. Uh-huh. Like I said, all there's right, a reason all right, I'm all right. home. And she will be a happy passenger going home. Tonight. She still didn't flip your fucking loop over. That's all I wanted her to do. No, I mean, it's all the way over here. All the way over here. Corey, don't know enough about my own hair to know what the fuck you're talking about. <laughs> <laughs> So, All right, Clay. So, um, so let's on that sub. Let's let's discuss women, guys. All right, let's do that. Okay. So first off, before I hate we, them. Before we discuss women, we have myself, who has been happily involved in a long-term relationship for uh, close to six years. Okay. And we have Corey over here, who fucks a ten every other week from a random place. Hey, and I don't know how hey, Clay, the hell not, he does let's, that. Let's not forget we're live. So shh. Oh, stretch! How how much can we curse on this? No, I'm just oh, saying, don't fuck, fuck my fuck game. Up. Yeah. <laughs> oh well, in that case, he is a humble man who loves his mother and Gotta treats her treat, treats her. I do love like my mother. Princess. Did we not last night call my mother and wish her a happy birthday live on? Tell this me about show? how this call. Went. Please did. tell me about how this. Actually, call it went. was like six o'clock this morning, but. It is my mother's birthday tonight. I would like to say happy birthday, Mom. Happy birthday, you. Corey's mom. But we called Wait. her last night or what this is morning her at name? 6 o'clock. Debbie. Happy birthday, Debbie. Debbie. Debbie Ford. Debbie Ford. Happy birthday, Miss Ford. Happy birthday, happy birthday Miss Ford. Mm-hmm. And it's my sister's birthday, Nicole Powers. Birthday. I love you so much. Real quick, Arden. While, but happy birthday, Miss Powers. Happy birthday, Arden, Ms. I have to ask. I'm the whitest Spanish man I, you'll ever I meet. Like, damn, Art, Art got a little soul to him. You hear that? <laughs> Bert Chrysler's what, fat. Bert Chrysler is fat. One thing I have to ask yes. is um, why, when I serve tables, do I always encounter groups, large groups of black people soulfully singing happy birthday and competing with each other well, every I mean, time they do it? That's because, because you're the nerdiest white guy I've ever seen. That's, that's what they do. That just makes sense. That's what you don't do it like that? I mean, you have to... You know you, that you you sing, man. And it's it's a joyous occasion. I I absolutely agree. I absolutely agree that it is a joyous, a occasion. joyous occasion. What I want to ask though is why one group of uh this is gonna sound shitty no matter. Now I can't speak for the I can't speak for the whole the black delegation, but uh, I mean I don't. You can know. probably speak better than I can. Well, I mean yeah, I'm only black from the waist down. How about that? <laughs> Me too. <laughs> <laughs> Ain't that a coinkity? <laughs> no wonder my mama and fiance love you. There you go. <laughs> and there it is. You heard it here first. But Cooper Talk. Tag, tag. I was working one night. I had a, I had a group of twelve okay. uh, sitting down for uh, for. Let's a talk to the man with a sleeve on his head. Hey. Two of them. Are, are, are we going to get this this person in on here? I thought this podcast had a had a standard, but now we're gonna well, we offer him a microphone. The damn show. We're gonna, what do you want to say? Yes, what? Yes, what? Huh. I can't hear though. What are we doing? What's going on? It's Mr. Jack from Social House. He's Jack. running the kitchen in the back. What, what do we got going on today? Welcome, welcome, welcome. I don't know. What, what type of topic do you want to talk about? What do you, what do you I'm, think? I'm, of? I'm kind of fucked up right now. Uh, topics. Uh, the cold. Perfect. The cold's fucking me up. This cold weather. Yeah, because you it's ain't not, got a jacket. <laughs> I'm the dumb guy that didn't bring a jacket. but I had to go home twice today to get a jacket. But you look good, though. So that's all that really matters. Well, damn. I, you know, Keep I it real. Be, I might be taking you home. Like, <laughs> don't you fucking tell me with a good time, baby. Shit, boy. You all fucked up. That Corey looks like he just got off an R. Kelly video. Yeah, he does. Yeah, he does. I, I might pee on somebody. He wants to piss on you. Drip, drip, drip. We're talking about women. And I believe I can fly. We've done it before. We've done it. We've done it several times, haven't we? Is this table too big to go underneath? No, I got it. Well, it's actually, it's actually not. Hey, can we 
Your ass what the hell is that? My ass is always showing. There's no ass. It's all up front. Oh, you're right. He, he's got a syndrome of no How ass at all. We've been taking him for years. <laughs> what are we going under? Uh, huh. it's, it's, a little, it's a little loud, so. Nope. What, uh... So we, we, we were, the, 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 the topic was women. Okay, we were going let's, let's get back on that. Right. Instead of let's, talking about how me and good Corey look. Yeah, let's, uh, let's discuss yeah. ladies, guys. So what are, when you first see a woman. I mean, I think it's a fucking landslide up in here. I think I look better way. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh geez, we're not back on women. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah, let's get back on women. Oh, yeah, yeah. So, so again, so when you guys see a woman, what, what what's the first thing that you're attracted to when you see a, a woman? Like, you know, I, I'm a me personally, I'm a I'm a eye thigh and breast breast man. I love pretty eyes, pretty thighs, pretty breasts. That's that's what I ass man. Absolutely, I'm, I'm a definite but, ass man. But without a doubt, but without a doubt, right after that, seriously, personality. Like yeah. if you can't, well, yeah, if you can't come out and hang out and have a good time without, without being people, fucking weird. Yeah, yeah. But I'm just saying, well, like when you first see here. a woman, I'm, I mean, I'm you have to get to know her to know her personality. I'm just saying, like when you first see, ass, like you know. Booty, tall, booty, 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 ragged everywhere. Okay. Like, tall, I need, short, petite. I need the booty. You like tall, petite? Oh, I don't care. Tall, too. Tall, too. Ladies, coming back to the mic, I want to say that the, uh, the last blonde. words of Jack like were... Last words? What was it? Uh, something, something about an ass? An ass. I'm an ass. That's me, yeah. No. What was the exact words? True ass? I don't know. I don't I'm, I'm, a big, I'm a big fan of Latinos. Like, that's my kryptonite. Latin, Why? Latin, Latin women just damn man, they just they just do it for me, man. Why? Nah, they I, just, I, I can't have I, I a like girl the, that's afraid of a bonfire. I like I like the feistiness. I love I, fire. I love that. <laughs> yeah, I mean Latin, uh, Latin women are man. I mean they're just they're so, amazing. Stretch. All we brought was four headphones. We got four. No, there's five all together. That's all I'm saying. Where's so one? I'm engaged, right? Right. I'm. Uh, I'm the whitest Spanish man ever. Anyone is walking ever away. <laughs> okay. I, I see the mic right here. I just didn't know. I played the, Dungeons and Dragons. Ball. I played dumb board games. But I'm the whitest Spanish man everyone's anyone's ever gonna meet. Nothing wrong with that. And one of the things that I will say is that one of the things that uh, made me decide that uh, proposing to my fiance sitting to your left right, right now right. is her feistiness. And it wasn't a Spanish thing. She's uh, she's Native American and French. Okay. But one That's of the a hell things of a combination. It it absolutely is. But one of the things that I loved about her was the fact that I could I could go through a day with her, and there's never a point that I'm not going to laugh. That's one of the things that really. That's a big. That's big. I found someone that had the same dumb sense of humor that I did. And I latched onto that. And she latched onto the same dumb sense of humor that I had. The same the same sense of humor that when nobody's gonna laugh at your joke, you always have well, someone. I, else I wanna thank your joke. both of y'all for taking each other out. It's like thin in the herd. <laughs> <laughs> hey, thank you. So Corey, you said you like them you like them blonde. Hey man, that's okay coming from someone that's never gonna be in the herd. So you like him? You're blonde. right. I'm the lion. <laughs> Fucking a ten every every other weekend. I, I, you know, Tim. I like him. You know, all different hair colors. But typically, what I get is just straight up blonde chicks. I don't know why. Gotcha. And I, I I once two girlfriends ago I dated a brunette and. She was almost the craziest one I've ever met. Well, they're all crazy, like, Corey. Well, shit, I didn't just stick with the lighter colors. <laughs> they're all crazy. Well, for people that don't know Corey, um, we, uh, people that do know Corey believe that he stands outside the hot girl outlet, and he picks out which hot girl he wants, and then he shows up at the bar that we all drink at with her. It's almost a uh, nice. what's that uh, what's that movie about the uh, the guys that uh, program a girl to uh, come into reality? Weird science. Weird science. Which yeah. is a great movie, by the way. Corey's Corey's life in our mind is weird science every other week, and there's always nice. going to be a bit of I hate this guy on a on a primal level just because of how lucky he is. Who's that actress that played uh, Weird Science? 
Now hold on. Kelly oh, LeBron. Not to was it Kelly Ooh. LeBron? Who was actually lucky? I'll look it you up. You are. You you're, are. You're the one that's see if engaged. I'm, see if my movie, and is in love if my movie prowess is good. So I think who's it was the one Kelly who's LeBron. actually lucky? Fair enough. It, it, you know what I mean? It, it, it just depends on who, how about how about we go with both of, of us are in a different level. Was that how right? How about we go with like, both of us are? Was it Kelly LeBron? In Weird Science? <coughs> yeah. She played Lisa. You're welcome. Lisa from Saved by the Bell? You're welcome. No. Lisa, Lisa Turtle? No, oh. not that. <laughs> no, no, absolutely. Kelly LeBron. She was bad, son, back in the 80s. Amazing. What about uh what about Ferris Bueller's Day Off girl? When well, he came oh, out of the pool. The one who puts the lipstick on with her tits? The uh yeah. the one girl that made me realize that women are Fucking wonderful. Oh, no, I'm thinking of the Breakfast Club. No. Uh, that, that was the girl who put the lipstick on with her tits. The Breakfast Club? Wait, yeah. did, did she actually do that in Breakfast Club? Take yeah. the lipstick? Yeah, she put the lipstick in there and she did like this. And okay, the so she put it But in you her. were probably paying attention to the demonic chick. No. That was dressed in all black. And... <laughs> No, I'm 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 not much of a man that's outside of the uh, the normal region of yeah. women, but what I am is oh, shit, I, I know Katie it works would for kick me. Your ass. <laughs> <laughs> she absolutely would. She's wondering what the hell you're talking about right now. Hey, would would anybody like to comment on how sad Ian looks right now with his Orlando hat, not in the podcast? I can't really hear what he's saying right now. I don't have any headphones, so I'm just gonna pretend like he's being a nice guy. <laughs> if if yeah, you're listening to this right now and you see Ian, you need to tell him that he. I have been saying fantastic things about that guy over there, no who who sucks. <laughs> Ian, I need to go smoke a cigarette. Uh, you want to step in? Sure. Drag it out, baby. And right. now we're losing Corey, and we're done. <laughs> <laughs>